Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking you through a possible solution for question 1 in the practice activities for chapter 9, section 3, which covers relationship mapping. As you can see, I've got the practice activities document open. So we'll just go ahead and read the instructions first. Now it says up here that the following entities were mapped to tables in a previous lesson, shift, regular, menu, promotional menu, frequent diner card. And it also says refer to the global, completed global fast foods model and map the following entities, food item, order, and order line. So if we go to question one, it says transform relationships into foreign key columns. Use as many rows as necessary in a table similar to the one in the diagram. So we're going to make a table like this for those three entities. And we're going to use this entity relationship diagram here to help us do that. So I will go ahead and make this smaller, maybe, there we go. And I've already got Lucidchart open with um, tables ready to go for these three entities. We're going to start with the order entity. I'll make that smaller so we can see the whole thing. So we're going to start with the ordered entity. Its primary key is number because that is its UID and it is mandatory. And then it has two mandatory attributes that are not keys and those are date and time. And I will fix this so that it looks like everything else. There. <laughs> Now, it has two foreign keys because it is on the many side of two relationships. So it will have a foreign key from the staff entity and from the frequent diner card entity. So we have got foreign key and for the staff entity, it is mandatory and we will call it staff ID. And it is mandatory, we use our diagram. It is on the must side. The order must have a staff member. Now, foreign key for the frequent diner card entity. If you look really closely, you can see that this is a dashed line all the way through, which means that the order may have a frequent diner card associated with it. So this is going to be an optional foreign key and we will call it, whoops, we will call it frequent diner ID. So here is your table for the order entity. I'll complete it up. So now we're gonna move over to the order line entity. The order line entity has two relationships that it's on the mini side for, the order entity and the food item entity. Now it just has one attribute of quantity and it is not a primary key. So it is just a mandatory attribute of quantity now it has two foreign keys and both of them are on barred relationships, which means that both of the foreign keys are also going to be primary keys for this entity. So we'll write primary key comma foreign key and they are both mandatory because we are over here. So we've got order number, which is primary key and foreign key and mandatory. And then we've got food item. They are barred relationships, we need them. So we have food number. So those are our keys for the order line entity. Um, that can be a little confusing, but if there is a bar, the foreign keys are also primary keys because they are creating that UID. So. That is your completed table for the order line entity. Now moving on to our final entity, food item. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start with its own attributes. We have number as our primary key, mandatory. So we have number and then we've got description as an attribute and a price. They will not have keys associated with them. Now, food item has two foreign keys associated with it over here because it's on the mini side of both of these. And these are both arc relationships. They're part of the arc relationship. 
And so there are foreign keys, but they are both going to be optional because in this case it is going to be one or the other. The food item cannot come from both the regular menu and the promotional menu, so it's going to be one or the other, so they have to be optional. So we'll have a foreign key for this regular menu called a reg code, and then we'll have a foreign key from the promotional menu called promo code. And that will be your table for the food item entity. So I'll just make this bigger so we can see all three of them. Here is what your answer for number one should look like roughly. Your answers may vary a little bit. You may have things in a different spot, but you should have pretty much the same primary keys and foreign keys. They just may be in different spots. I didn't put mine at the top up here. Doesn't really matter in this case where they are, just as long as they're on the table. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, study session. Whenever you're watching this, I hope it's going well.